I've been getting some questions about how to use a G132 and G131 on the stars. Uh, this is an older SV20 model. Uh, the control is a little bit hard to read, so I apologize for that. Um, but why would you want to use a G132? Essentially, all this does is it makes it so all your turret tools, um, you, you touch them off one time, and then you never have to touch them off again. No matter what job you're running, uh, if your part length is completely different sticking out of the sub, all you do is you touch it off once and you're good to go. So how does it work? Um, first, you'd obviously touch off your tools. We use a presetter. So you would uh, touch it off. This is G or uh, tool 1551. I'm going to be working on the sub, so this value goes in the E offset. And now I can use this spot drill on whatever job I want. Start at the cutoff because that's where everything is kind of established. We'll go to N500. Uh, this is our cutoff. Now, we're going to position the sub during this cutoff. So what I what I'll use is a G131. G131 just tells the machine ignore its absolute position and only go to a position that's called out on to the part. So we're going to go to 13.6 inches onto this part. It's a 14 inch long part. We're going to pick off somewhere around here. Now my machine does not have 13 inches of stroke between here and here. So if I were to try to do that in absolute, it would crash. But the machine now knows because of G131 that this is the location onto the part. So we move into locations, we clamp, we cancel the G131 with the G130. Uh, you just always want to cancel it after you position the sub. And then we continue with the cutoff and the program's done. Now we got the part in the sub spindle. On this particular job, you can see, so that's 691 thousandths. That's sticking out, that's how far the part is from the cap nut. Now the cap nut would essentially be Z0. Okay, so your variable would read Z0 if your part was flush with the cap. At the top of my program, I have that variable. So pound 500, 691 thousandths. Now every tool path can call up that variable. We're gonna go to that spot drill I mentioned. We're gonna position everything. Then we're gonna call up G132K pound 500. That is gonna tell the machine, okay, now your part is reading 691 thousandths. I'm pulling that from this, this uh, system variable. Then when it goes to Z minus 0.05, that drill is going to be 50 thousandths off the part. Cool. So now let's say I run another job. Say it's a uh, just a screw and let's say I have a flat nose collar. And I pick off the screw with only like 100 thousandths sticking out. Then I don't have to retouch off that drill. All I have to do in my next program is I'll have a pound 500, 100 thousandths. Because that's going to be the length from the face of the cap to the end of the part. And I don't have to touch off any of those same tools that are already in the machine touched off. Oh, one more thing. Um, we have this G132 K pound 500 on the first tooling, but we don't, there's not like a code to cancel it, right? However, when we go to the next tool, tool 1552, we have to call a G132 K pound 500 again. You just want, it's good practice to just call that up on every single back working tool path that you're gonna, uh, that you're gonna machine with. So, it's pretty simple. Uh, people avoid it because they don't quite understand it. I hope this helped you a little bit. If not, hit me up on Instagram, CNC Swiss. Uh, I'll try and explain it a little more in depth. Um, but it's, I think you'll really like using a G132 it's going to cut way down on all your setup time and you won't have to be touching tools off all the time.